Are you ready for the word of God? Let's be on our feet for the word of God in Jesus' name. We close the curtains on favor today. We close the curtains on the subject of favor. The subject of favor and honor today. Connected to the blood of Jesus. How the blood of Jesus can link you into favor. We close it today. So the direction that we're doing. Touching your passport. Your picture. Your whatever. We'll do it on today. Those who have, have your picture here. Also touch your phone. In Jesus name. Someone shout favor for three times. Favor. 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 Say it again. Favor. 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 So let's go through a journey. And um, I'll, I'll be with you very soon. Uh, the book of Matthew chapter 27 verse of 50. Matthew chapter 27 verse of 50. Amen. So it's this number I was looking for you. Um, I gave the instruction to Pastor Ezekiel so you can follow. Verse 5050. I want to make myself English person. You want me to go back to 50, 70. I said 50. You come 15. So 50, why? 50. Amen. And when Jesus, this is when Jesus Christ was dying and his, all his blood has hit on the ground. And when Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice, he gave out his spirit. At that moment, the curtain of the, the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The heaven shook. That's okay. And the rocks split. Help me to give the title of my sermon to your neighbor on your left and your right and say, My neighbor, my neighbor, the blood, the blood will give you access, will give you access and favor. And favor. You may be seated in the presence of the living God. The blood will give you access and favor. I want you to shout favor for three times and so let me see. Favor, favor, favor. Let me tell you something. You can never survive in life without favor. You can never survive in life without favor. At any point in time, somebody has to do something for you. Yeah, oh, Prophet Daniel, why? The Bible says, Christ is the man that put their trust in, the, in, in a human being. Why are you saying so? Should we put our trust in a human being? No. But God will always bless you. But he will never come down to bless you. He will bless you through a human being. In those days when Elijah prayed, after he said there will be no rain for three and a half years, and there was no rain for three and a half years, and he said, I can hear the sound of the abundance of rain, and he prayed the seven dimensions of prayer. The Bible says, when he prayed, he told the servant, go and check whether rain is coming. The servant went for the first time, nothing happened. Number six, nothing happened. On the seventh one, look at it. The servant said, I can see only a sign of a cloud in the atmosphere but the cloud looks like the hand of a human being so god will let it rain but it will always happen by the hand of a human being jesus was the son of god but he needed john the baptist to speak for him you can be a president if human beings don't vote for you you can never they can appoint you but if don't, they don't accept you at the vetting you cannot enter at any point in time sister even in school one house master or house mistress have to like you otherwise every day you get trouble in school am i saying the truth one prefect have to really like you in the workplace if they don't like you you cannot survive yes your husband can buy every mansion for you but if the in-laws don't like you you have the mansion all right but you always sleep with pain everybody in life we've got to enter into a realm of favor but unfortunately favor just doesn't happen you don't wake up in the morning and say i'm full of favor no favor has to be dropped on you you're supposed to win favor if you're supposed to win something then there's a competition on it and how does it happen it happens by an invisible hand and that invisible hand is the hand of God. And one of the things that propels favor is the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, when it speaks in your life, it breaks protocols. Listen, favor simply means breaking protocols. That's the meaning for favor. Breaking protocols. What is difficult for people, they tell you, go and get it. 
you are looking for a deal. Everybody is going for the deal. Somebody tells you, hey, go and give it to this one. You have broken protocol. Favor connects you into something that will take you thousand years to get. So a day of labor will save you from thousand days of a, a, a day of favor will save you from thousand days of labor. Don't you know somebody can fight for something? Uh, another person comes and say, get this one. Let me tell you the truth. The footballer who knows how to play good football for football. It doesn't mean that footballer is the only good one. Favor located that footballer into a team. Somebody can play ball, but they are in a small team. It takes somebody, an agent, to lift up the hand and talk to a coach and say, let my boy play. And the coach will say, yes, sir, master. It's not only about the talent. Talent is good. But talent with no favor will delay you. But if you move in life without favor, and another person by you always have favor, let me tell you something. You shall become jealous by default. Let me explain to you. You are two ladies. You go and sit at Marriott Hotel to go and have some drinks and eat. And when, when, when the two ladies were going, one, 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 your other friend they didn't even dress in way. Your, your other friend dro, uh, um, uh, dressed normal. Maybe some slippers, some flip-flops, some normal, some jeans. But you put on nice Brazilian wig, Peruvian, 16 inch, 18 inch, 21 inch, nice inch. You, you did nice makeup. You, you dress very well. Gucci, Jim Cartier, Pierre Cardin, everything. You wore very something nice. But when the two of you were sitting down, although you were in Gucci, but the guy at the corner there sent his boy or his protocol and said, go and give my card. Not to the girl who have dressed too much, but the one wearing flip-flops. Let me tell you, the, although the girl is your friend, you are wearing Gucci. She doesn't have Gucci. You shall be jealous of her. It's called jealous by default. I don't want anybody here to be jealous by default. So may you also receive divine So if anybody is jealous of anybody in life, it means another person has got favor. So let me pause here to declare. If you are here and people are jealous of you, it's a sign you have. Oh, I said, if nobody is jealous of you, you don't have faith. But if people are jealous of you, it's a sign God has given you divine favor. And hear me, favor is something you cannot explain. When people ask you, how did you get it? You can't explain. Because it's a divine force and it happens by the blood of Jesus. Now we go into our test and the Bible says, when the blood of Jesus hits on the ground, a curtain got torn. Give me an illustration, very simple. Give me some cloths for a simple illustration. Very, very, very help me. Give me some cloth for a simple illustration. Thank you. Where are the cloths? Yeah. Just give me some cloths. I'm just doing an illustration. Let me show you something right now. Thank you. Open it for me. And let me show you something. Yes. So open it for me like this. Yeah. I want to show everybody an example of something. Yeah. Stand here for me. Yeah, young man. No. Just stand there. Thank you. Young man, come. No. Give it to him. Good. And come. Hold it like that. Great. So, Father David, help him as well. So, you should also stand here like that. The same way they've done. Stand here like this. Great. And get me. One, two, three. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. So, it's okay. Yeah, you just, just place it here. Yeah. Just place it here. Let me show you something. Put it here. Now, stand here. Now, in the olden days, any time you go into a church, every church was divided into three so the way they are standing here like this picture it that is like this do you get it now this is the entrance of the church i think because of critical thinking let me make it this way so that everybody will get it very well so come come no no say a, a three one two three but i just want it to be like so that the people can picture it very well so come come for me here just stand here for me perfect a man of god come here for me yeah i just wanted to be here video guys okay just keep clip there thank you yeah brother david come more let me show you something right now 
So every church, yeah, go over there. Perfect. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yes, good. Now everybody check it. Every church in the olden days was divided into three. So this thing we have done right now, imagine a, a whole big partition from this side to this side covered. From this side to this side covered. The outside over there, where Pastor Fred is standing, the first partition there is called the, um, the outer part. That's the outer, that's the entrance. And this particular place is called the holy place, the middle side. And the, by the altar, by the altar is called holy of holies. Don't forget. Don't forget. Nobody should forget about what I'm about to show you today. Don't forget. We have the entrance. That's the outer place. The outer place, I don't know the name I've forgotten. But that's the outer place. The entrance. Then, we have the middle. That's the holy place. And this place is called holy of holies. Now, this is the meaning. When anybody comes to the church, everybody stays here. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the outer place is called the outer court. Everybody, every member, when you come in, you stay there. Then this particular place, the middle side, is where the Levite, that's the priest and the young priest, they come and do the rituals of the service. And this particular place, the altar side, nobody goes there. That is where we have the Ark of the Covenant. That is where God come to meet them. So those times, it's only a high priest who can enter there. And any high priest, before you go there, let me tell you how they used to do for you. Before you go there, high priest, come. Come. When a high priest is going there, let me show you what they used to do. Which goes there. Let me show you. When he's going there, go. Go. Oh, Charlie, wait. Lift it up for him. Go. And yes, and stand there. Yeah, and bring it down. And this will be here. So, now this is the meaning. Because this place, because God was there, if you go there and you have sinned, when you get there, you die. So they'll put a rope by you. So that when you die, I cannot also come there. Because when I also go there, I might die. So when you die, they only do like this. They pull you out. That was how the church was divided. But the day Jesus died, the Bible said all the curtains was Oh, I can feel somebody when the blood when the blood hit on the ground all the curtains were broken down so that everyone will have access so the blood will let you break through the cross oh I can feel somebody so let's get up again so the book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 19 breaks it down in another dimension let's go it says hebrews 10 verse 19 it says hebrews chapter 10 verse 19 it says therefore brothers since we have confidence to enter into the most holy place by the blood of jesus why because the curtain was broken let's go verse 20 by a new and living way open for us through the curtains so the curtain was open for us because of the blood today i came to ask you one question what is the curtain covering your destiny 
Anytime you want to enter into your greatness, listen to me. Anytime you can't enter into a place, it means there is a curtain there. But what can break it? What can break it is called the blood of Jesus. I stand on this altar and I declare that let the blood of Jesus, Jesus. responsible for breaking protocols, Jesus. let it be broken on your behalf. Jesus. Listen, from today, it will be difficult for people to tell you no. You don't you don't get you don't get you don't get you don't get it. I said it will be difficult for people to say no, we are sorry. No, it will not be possible. If they are looking for one person out of thousand, they'll be looking for you. And they will single you out. Receive that grace. Some shall favor. Sit down. Now I go to my next subject on this sermon. And I want you to understand one thing. But everybody hear me? For many years in the body of Christ, growing up in church, everybody, you've, you've heard a lot of stories. Favor, in favor, in favor, in favor, in favor. But let me tell you, favor alone doesn't solve the problem. You're supposed to graduate from favor into the level we call acceptance. And that is why we came here today with the blood. The blood doesn't only give you favor, it gives you acceptance. I'm about to explain to you what favor and acceptance is. What favor and acceptance will do in your life. Now, what is favor? And acceptance i'm glad you asked me when you go in front of a house and you knock the door say yes, yes. yes. come in thank you the moment i knock and they say come in they have shown me favor but not until she tells me sit on chair i've not been accepted there that's what they can tell you you went there but you are not welcomed so the door can be open that is favor but for you to sit on a chair is called acceptance jesus number two the guy can propose to you i like you let me marry you but if the in-laws mother-in-law sister-in-law auntie-in-law they don't approve of you you will not be happy so favor alone is not enough number three you get to the workplace you want the interview but for you to start the job if your bosses and supervisors and colleagues don't accept you you cannot be happy number four you can get the visa from american embassy but you can be stopped at the border control have you heard people that got visa and they were stopped at the border control you got the favor with the visa but you are not accepted into the country church of god I came to move you from favor. I came to graduate you to acceptance. Listen, acceptance is sustainable. Favor can be temporal. But when there is favor and acceptance, you can get permanent acceptance. Let me give you a simple illustration. When you get admission into a school, when your parents pay the school fees, you are still a student, that's favor. But when they give you your dormitory number, your class class your class and the chair you sit on that's when you have been officially accepted into that particular school let me explain again as well when you go and buy your plane tickets at the check-in counter it's still favor not until they give you the, the the receipt the ticket and they give you the seat number that's when the cabin crew and the air hostess they will show you your seat number is number 2k if, if you don't get a seat number, you are not traveling. Because nobody stands on the aeroplane. So many people's life have got to the realm of favor, but they have not graduated into acceptance. But today, Jesus. by the goodness of Jehovah, Jesus. I came to move you from favor Jesus. into acceptance in the name of Jesus. Shall I receive it? Receive it. That's why sometimes somebody can ask a question. Ah, they used to like me, pal. They used to care about me, pal. Ah, all of a sudden, Bonnie Ben Amaya, hear me. Although they favored you, they didn't accept you. When they elect you as a president, if they don't swear you in, you cannot perform. 
when they appoint you as an ambassador if they don't swear you in you can't travel to that country today that spiritual ingredient Jesus. that comes by the blood of Jesus, Jesus. That is called favor and acceptance. Jesus. May God give it to you right now. Amen. And hear me, Prophet Daniel. You're talking about acceptance. What is acceptance? Acceptance simply means approval. You have been approved. When you have been approved, you can go to the market and do everything. Do you know that when a product comes into the system, tin tomatoes, if you don't get FDA approval, you can't go to the market. When you get to the market, they can take all the stuff out. So although it's a, it's, a, it's a product that people like it, that is favor. But if FDA have not approved, they can call it out from the shops. Many people move to some level. And in the spiritual realm, they can be taken out from the place again. Because they don't have the seal of approval of FDA. Today, I didn't come for FDA. I came for a spiritual FDA. And that is the blood of Jesus. And the blood of Jesus will be stamped on your destiny right now in the name of jesus today i stamp your children i stamp your business i stamp your marriage i stamp your family i stamp your transaction i stamp your health receive fda approval shall i receive it i receive it now let me show you somebody who had booth and i will call it a day esther chapter 2 verse 9 and let me show you something and we stand on it to pray look at it the girl that's esther pleased him and won his favor so in chapter nine, chapter 2 verse 9 esther only got favor and favor alone is not important but when you read the verse of 17 she graduated to approval let's go now the king was attracted to esther more than the other women and she won his favor and so hear me for you to be attractive in life you need these two you can only get favor for attraction and esther was the one and look at it they set a royal crown on her head and made her a queen instead of vastai let me show you a secret over here at that time vasti give me this chair let the lady come. Let a lady come. Yeah, thank you. At that time, Vasti was the queen mother. And Vasti was the one enjoying everything. Then Vasti made a mistake. And they said, we are looking for new ones. And they went to look for an Esther. Esther come. But when Esther came, when Esther came, the Bible says Esther had favor and approval and they place it on her and made her the queen instead of instead of vasty so what can let you replace somebody is favor and approval today by fire by the spirit of god wherever you enter receive favor and approval favor and acceptance somebody go on the altar and touch it and receive favor and approval favor and approval i receive favor and approval i just saw that in the spiritual realm that grace just entered into the house receive it now receive it now yourself and your children yourself and your family wherever you go wherever you enter receive that grace yes yeah Enter into that realm. Favor and approval. Favor and acceptance. Sit down for one minute. Now let me tell you this. Can I tell you something? Church. These are secrets of life. When you see that somebody is always being the favored one. Or people like somebody. It doesn't just happen. There is a force behind it. One of the things that keeps you in favor is your character. Your character can either stink or smell good based on your attitude. Your character, 
we open the door for you. The other one is when you honor God. The Bible says, those who honor me, I will honor them. If you don't honor God, nobody will honor you. How do you honor God? You honor God with your substance, your ability, your gift, and your time. So the Bible says, honor God with your substance. And the Bible says, the gift of a man paves way for him. Preachers have only made it one way. That the gift of a man paves way. So which means when you are gifted, a door opens. No, not only that. When you give gift, it opens the door for you. That's why King of, Queen of Sheba, when she came to Solomon, she gave gifts. People who are stingy don't get favor in life. Hey, sometimes the job is not for the person, but the person will go and pay and they'll give to the person. And the one who qualifies, that's. Church, I'm teaching you some lessons of life. This will open some doors for you. And this kind of realm, it places you into where you belong. Today, as you put a curtain on favor and acceptance, nobody here will miss that secret ingredient. I said nobody here will miss that secret ingredient. That is called favor and acceptance. They shall fall in love with you. They shall love you. It should be there. Who said that some people be? They can do you something bad, but when you see them, you don't want to be angry again. It's like before you meet them, oh, person, oh, she send the blow. But when you meet them, Pena said, it's called favor and approval. Some people are favored for no reason. And let me tell you, I came to drop it on you in Jesus' name. Their service receive that kind of power. I receive it. Now, this is the last point. But let me pause here to tell you this. House, you are talking about favor and approval. The reason why God gives to you is for one reason, and I'll be done on this one. That some people in life, you've not met them before. That was your first day. They just don't like you. When they see your shoe, they don't like you. Your makeup, ah! Your hairstyle, and look on the, they don't like you. Have you met them before, those kind of people before? When you even cut your head for them to chew, they'll tell you it was not sweet. Church, when you wear something green, they will say it's blue. When you wear blue, they will say it's green. And church of God, let me tell you, what can cause you to escape these people? Is an attraction of favor and acceptance that will let you miss them and dodge them and meet correct people. Amen. I'm come to show you something. Because let me tell you the truth. <clears throat> this is a bitter pill for you to swallow. It's not everybody who likes you in life. Know that. But this is what you need to do, God. Since I know that it's not everybody who will like me. Only let my path cross with only those that will love me. This is what can help you. On the story of Esther and Vasta, look, look, look at the story. The king called Vasta and said, Vasta, Vasti, whatever. Vasti, come and perform. Come and show your beauty in front of my guest. Then Vasti said, go and tell the king. I'm very busy with the ladies. I cannot come. Look at it. And the king said, it's okay. So the king was okay. Then one of the officials of the king, by the name of Mimukan, said, king, don't say it's okay. If you don't take her away, no woman will respect a man again here. Take her away. And the king said, no problem. Take her away. So if it was up to the king alone, Vasti would still have been there. But one man by the name of Memukan was the one who gave the wrong advice. Any Memukan, he did not propose any of them come home. Any Memukan who will talk about you to your destiny helpers, may God shut their mouths. May God shut their mouths. Any Memukan. That is a man, that is a woman from your family, from outside, that will go and speak in the ears of your.
your destiny your office. May God grant them by fire. Somebody shout fire. Fire. Media, give it to me. Memuka, give it to me. Memuka. Chapter 1. Memuka said, Ken, if we don't take her away, no woman will be respected. No woman will ever be respected. And that was it. Man of God, I think you can help them. So listen to me. Some, someone say Memukan. Is that something about check, check it? Say Memukan. Memukan. Say any Memukan. Any Memukan. Say any Memukan. Any Memukan. That is looking for me. That is looking for me. To disgrace me. To disgrace me. Go away from me. Go away from me. Say any Memukan. Any Memukan. That is looking for me. That is looking for me. Where is it? Investi no, I want Memukan. Where's Pastor Robert? Help me with Memukan. I again. Verse 61, verse 16. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Verse 16. Thank you. And Memukan answered before the king and, and the princess. Vasti. Give me an IV, please. An IV, please. I don't like D thou half, half, half thou. King James. The Memukan replied in the presence of the king and the nobles. Queen Vasti has done wrong. Look at it. Not only against the king, but against all the men in the, in the province. Hey. My me only disrespected the, the king. Why are you adding the other men? Hey. Hey. Nobody spoiling you, mama, mama, mama. Jesus, let favor and acceptance crush it from your life. Jesus, name. say anybody spoiling me, anybody spoiling me. My helpers, my helpers, will never hear you. Will never hear you. Sit down. Church, listen, listen. So, Vasti would have still be a queen, but a Mimukan gave a wrong advice. To the king now look at it and all the people of the province let's go verse 17 verse 17 for the queen's conduct already was said obano will be known to all the ladies and they shall despise their husbands king Xerxes commanded vastly to be brought before him but she will not come oh jesus here ready let's go let's go let's go this very day, tell it was sad in Okra. Or see, there shall be no end of disrespect in the in the province. Hey, which means no mini esta, no mini vasty at all. Hey, whoever has meant you behind the scenes that they will use one mistake to bring you down. May they not get hold of you. Let's go, let's go. No, let me say, let's go again. Let's go. Therefore, it pleases the king. Let issue a royal papa papa pa, that Vasti is never again My to God. enter into the presence of Ken. My and God. let the king give her royal position to someone else. My God. Hey, Jesus. Who is better than her? Church, who is speaking against you or who is speaking for you? My God. Therefore, it, it please, yeah. Verse 20. Verse 20. When the edict was proclaimed, all the women, let's go. I want to show you something. And the king and his nobles were pleased with the advice. So the king did as Mimukan proposed. Church, I want to pause here to tell you one thing. May your helpers not accept what Mimukan proposes against you. Jesus. Do you know that the king had the power to say that Mimukan, go away. She is still my queen. I will not listen to you. But the king listened to Memukan. What will you do when your helpers are listening to your enemies? Jesus. And now that was the end of Vastai. Today, in Memukan. Jesus. Church, I can boldly say, I can boldly say that Memukan had a long term issue with Vasti. I can I can boldly say, no one mean at all, but no one know. Today, no one pass. I mean, no one size it. 
church of God, there's an altar that we call the altar of mistakes. May you not make a mistake for your enemies to get hold of you. I stand on the altar and I declare by fire. May you not make a mistake Jesus. for any man who can to get hold of you. Jesus. Let God arise and fight on your behalf Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Jesus. So, so favor and acceptance. Favor and acceptance. So, I end on this note. Prophet Daniel. So, so there are people called Mimukan who are not good, who don't like me. How do I swerve them? And how do I meet people that are good? Can I show you? Now let's come. Give me the last question. Give me the cloth. Thank you. Give me the cloths. Where are they? Help me. Thank you. So I want a couple of people to help me. Great. Stand here for me. Great. Yeah, just stand there for me. Thank you. Yeah, man of God. Come here. Pastor David, come and help me. Yeah. Um, come and stand here. Let me show you something. Pastor David, come here. Man of God, come here as well. Yeah. Come here as well. Jake, come. Yeah. Yeah. I come to show you something. This is a spiritual mystery. People begin to wonder, Prophet Daniel, how come things begin to move for you? I said, I know that some of the mysteries that you don't know. The secret of life and the, and the elevation of life is in mystery. In life, you're supposed to be an enigma. People shouldn't understand you. Any country that is powerful in the world is not because of money. Any country that is powerful in the world is because their secret service is powerful. That, 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 that's what makes a country powerful Russia and Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia has a lot of oil why is Russia more powerful than Saudi Arabia because Russians they have powerful secret service America it's not because America has a lot of money their secret service is powerful they have a lot of secrets and they know secrets of other people CIA, FBI, British MI6, MI5 so hear me that's what makes powerful. Ghana, we are powerful because of our BNI. <laughs> oh, yeah. When, when we also compare Ghana to maybe Liberia or something, we, too, we are there. I'm saying the truth, man. Yeah. Yeah. When, when I go to Sierra Leone, then I know that, hey, Ghana, we are also powerful. When we get to Sierra Leone, they say, ah, oh, one guy was here on, on, was on, here on Wednesday. He, no, 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 no. Not the lady. Well, one guy came from Sierra Leone. Who is in Sierra Leone? Who is in Ghana? I said, why? He said, somebody told him to come and see me. I said, why are you here? He said, he came for medical treatment in Ghana. I said, why? He said, because the radiotherapy there is not strong. They told him to come to Kolebu for radiotherapy. I said, Ghana, we are going forward. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. One day I'll tell, I'll, tell, I'll tell you more about that. But let me tell you the secret. Now, how do I miss and run away from Mimukan? So that I can only meet good people. Can I show the secret? Good. So now, this is you and I. Give me another person again. Is that come? Yeah. Come. So it's stand here. So these are two individuals in life. One of them has what we call favor and acceptance. I say favor and acceptance. Yeah. And one of them doesn't have. So, this is what happens. Stand here for me. So, you know, all my sermons are prayer points. It shows you how to pray. Good. So put on yourself. Put on yourself. Yeah, Father David, just stand there. Put on yourself. So, and everybody, just be very, very sensitive. And come to show the secret of life. Now, what is on this man is called favor and acceptance. It's an invisible force. And now these people standing here, those who have come in front, they are his destiny helpers. And now those people who don't have the thing on them, they are the people who are Memukan, wicked people who don't like them. So, when favor and acceptance is on me, when I make my journey in life, God will make sure I don't meet this one, but he will make sure I meet this one. Then God will make sure I don't if you want I'm trying to meet this one an angel will block it for me then I will meet my helper then I will go again I will not meet this one and I will meet my helper so all my life because of what is on me I don't care about Memukam I don't care about who doesn't like me but God links me to correct people okay check a secret now there's another person too who doesn't carry favor 
So all their lives, they don't meet anybody with favor. Only Mimu can. When you go close to her, when she come close to you, Munachreno. Hey, hey, don't laugh. When somebody frown their face to you, uh, you go, go through sadness. So there are some people in life, they always say that, why do I always meet people who don't like me? The answer is that you don't have this thing on you. But when this thing comes on you, you only meet the correct people. Today, I came to declare favor and acceptance. Hey, you shall only meet correct people at the embassy, in the workplace, in the office, in the bank, wherever you go. May God let that grace be for you. Thank you. Be on your feet. I'm done.